You know, some people think that the second coming of Christ is a speculative thing that doesn't affect our daily living. And I was struck a number of years ago preaching through First and Second Thessalonians how practical the doctrine of the second coming of Christ is because you could really sum up Paul's teaching in First and Second Thessalonians as living life in light of Jesus coming. Uh, that's what he's telling the Thessalonians they need to do. Uh, they need to know that Jesus coming changes their lives right now. Uh, they are able to live in hope and confidence and peace and joy even if there are things happening in the world that don't give them peace and don't give them joy and don't give them hope they're able to have peace and confidence and hope and joy because of the certainty that Jesus is coming again. And so when we face injustice, uh, when we face trials and tribulations and difficulties in this world, uh, when we are ravaged by disease or illness, when we are opposed by enemies, when we are persecuted by enemies of the faith, we can have peace and hope and joy and confidence because Jesus is coming again. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. And when He comes, what will He do? He'll make His blessings know far as the curse is found. We have that confidence. We can work with energy in the Christian life uh, to love mercy and to do justly and walk humbly with our God, to love our neighbors as ourselves, not thinking that the results that we get now are going to be the final report card on our life. Jesus is coming again and He will make all things new. And that reality powers the Christian life to be able to live with hope and confidence no matter the circumstances that we're dealing with.